No, Tony, the big one doesn't do it. The big one doesn't do it. Just these two. Finding a tiny little bell over there. <laughs> that little bell bracelet broke. Okay, let me see if I can get rid of these two and I can work her on picking stuff up. It's looking me dead in the eye though, Alexis, if you see that. And if you said, what do you want to have with this dog? Not a mean look. <laughs> let me tell you what, if it looks you in the eye and you're looking back at it mean, not that you would do that, but it's gonna run away. It's, it's just that the runaway thing is, was so prevalent in the dog. If you said we're gonna have to be careful, yes. I think the best thing is really it's gonna your mom can work with her. Your mom's already getting I oh am yeah, getting your mom the whole little training set up, just like me. <laughs> just like me. But you could start doing the I dream a genie thing. And uh, she's looking at me. Watch. There's gotta be some kind of cue or they don't keep looking. Watch. I think you can make her lay down with the exhale, Mike. I really do. She can. She does it every night. You are absolutely awful. I see her looking at my eyes. I refuse to look back. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can get rid of these two real quick. for me to come back. All right, Crush, you're gonna have to go outside a minute. Come on, let's go outside a minute.
And Mike, if you're still there, I think you've got to do that sleight of hand thing to really get them watching you. You know, I mean, if it's always just going to be a big yes and all this crap and then the treat, man, I need to watch that. <laughs> yeah, they'll be landing a jet before they give you the treat. <laughs> he said, it's pushing its feet on my feet. It is. Crash does that too. She's always just a buy for attention. Oh, for sure. A buy for attention. I don't, you know, Mike, I don't know. I mean, I don't understand how all these people... I think we need to just have a book called, here's what not to do, and here's the example. There's no backing up, throwing your arms up in the air. There's nothing. That would simulate an animal throwing its hair up and trying to look big. I, I don't understand how they all do that and then run backwards. That, that looks like you're even slower than you actually are. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. So, all right, let me just see what I can get to pick up. I don't understand any of it. They're all, after I really started looking, yo, know, they're squatting down, throwing their arms open. Even, even on a, in, from the behaviorist viewpoint, that, that wouldn't make any sense. They're not gonna run towards something that's making itself look big. It's, they're gonna go, it's the lateral movement thing where you're aligning yourself laterally with these animals. If you said, well, you're yeah, good. Thanks for finally figuring that out. <laughs> I know, but it's not just dogs. It's with people. You know, they tell you, just, you know, how you're always orienting yourself. And I think even your feet. The feet are more telling than you think. I think you should lead with the feet. I think that's what you need to start thinking of, Mike. Lead with the feet. Lead with the feet. It only makes more sense. I really cannot see your feet. They're right there. If I was rocking next to something, I would be able to see its feet. Oh, she found this tiny bell earlier. Oh, my God. Sure, she squished it. I'll have to put that on your bill. She said how much. I've Not even a measurable amount. Don't worry. Okay, so. spilled the whole thing and I found a bunch of stuff that uh, was that I didn't know I get this piece of fluff that I didn't realize was in there so looks like she found this tape too all right Sharon so if you're there I think what you need to do is you've got to be fluid on the platform you're even though you're sitting you're still Who knows? Oh, well, yeah, if I had to guess, it was in that thing that shoe bottom tipped over. Yeah, knocked the whole thing over. So if you said, well, what do you mean? Well, you just off for, out for hours. I went outside for 10 minutes. All over the floor. But luckily, I found a bunch of stuff that I didn't remember I had. So, so the dog is initiating. The dog is sending the friend a request. That's what I want you to think of, Sharon. You're just going to sit there with your basket, let these things poke and prod and put on a goddamn show. That's what she's doing. She's trying to figure out what's going to work. So I think what, we're, I think what we have to say to ourselves, if it's only occurring as a command of behavior, your refusal rate is going to be markedly higher. That's only makes sense. They're only doing it when they're told to do it. You're really not thinking a big enough picture. If all the recall is, is getting this thing's momentum moving in your direction, I mean... That's not really a commanded behavior. It's just keeping it orbiting around a handler. It's just structuring the momentum so it's orbiting around a handler, not just shooting away like the space shuttle. So I put my feet together. I think you want to get your feet in, but your feet, that's why the feet are in. I'm ready to sneak away if I have to. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me, Sharon. I can even run on the platform. <laughs> she bought it. <laughs> she bought it. It's, it was raining all night. I'm like, it's it's going to be nice. I'm going to go outside in a minute. But, you know, 
you're just getting on the tempo where you're saying, oh my God, everything you do is right. I can't even believe it. You know, you're gonna be more, the dog is gonna be more creative that way. It's actually structuring itself now, so she's in front of me. He said, does it look, oh, I can feel it looking at me. But I'm deliberately seeing it without looking at it all the time, Sharon. It, it really does come down to these nuances. Um, what you need to do, if you're really dead set on training all three of these, because I think if we can get you training them, girl, I think we could get you so you could get these puppies, like I've got mine, and you could get a lot more money for them. <laughs> Little puppy that goes gets keys and does all these things? You know, once you get the feel for it, but the way I do it, if you're dead set on getting all three of them trained, get the worst one out first. Don't get the best one. Get the worst one out first. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it sounds crazy, but if you get the best one out first, just putting the chin down. It's just a better dynamic. If you said no, I really want to just focus on one of them, then I would say just get the best one. But if you're dead set on training all three of them, if I have training jobs, I try to get the worst one out first. If you said, well, aren't you getting this one out first? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you said, what's wrong? She is laying down. So if you said, run away. <gasps> so I'm, I'm kind of moving around a little bit. I'm not just sitting down. It's this presupposition thing. The dog must believe on a subconscious level that you'll leave. That's why this dog doesn't leave me. If you said, oh, because it's so in love with you. If love is a belief, I better keep an eye on it because it's gonna leave. But it's on a subconscious level. That's what I want you to think. It's a presuppose. If you said, what's suppose? Suppose is, that's, it's, but it's presuppose is, it's occurring, it's, it thinks even now that I'm gonna leave, even though that's not a conscious thought. It's, 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 it, and that's why I'm, you know, if you said it's, it's information, it's basing its information on all the previous information it has about me. Its little computer has told it, it's got one move. Gone girl, gone girl. So that's why if, if, if we just plop down, and then, it, it just can't even be the smallest, the smallest little. You saw when I started running though. Oh, you felt that one. And I'm purposely with this dog because she's not, you know, again, like you said, she's got 17 million toys. She played at will or whatever. So I'm not gonna try to say, get it, get it, get it. That's not gonna work. If anything, the best thing is to say, I don't want you to touch this, whatever you do. <laughs> don't touch my valuable fish. <laughs> and she consciously made a thing to bring it to me, but you're not gonna be able to force her, girl. And that's where you guys went wrong. And She got off to a bad start, but once you try to force one like this, they just have an immediate strategy. Flee, flee, flee. <laughs> flee the scene, flee the scene. So I guarded this stuff just by going like this. You kind of avoid. I understand it's people's natural instinct. If somebody tries to grab one of your French fries, shoot their hand away, but you know, you <laughs> You're not going to be able to do that. Once you set up the dynamic, I'll take you on. You're screwed. They're saying to some, it's going to take me on. I can be way over there. That video where the first one, the Alex effect, where she dove into the bushes. I mean, it's when I said. 
said the whole thing in slow-mo, Alexis. It was like, in, in the real time, it looked like I went like that and stepped away. In the slow-mo, it looked like I went like that. She was halfway across the damn thing, and then I stepped away. I mean, it was shocking. If you said you were shocked how slow you were, yeah, because I thought it was so fast. <laughs> She's just going to say, no pressure. Oh, hi, Raphael. How's everything going? Oh, hi, Anne. How's everything going, girl? Oh, hi, Isabel. Yeah, this dog is it really is trying to, it's, it's very, very invested in, if you said me, it's not that so much. It's, it's so desperate to copy. It's so desperate to copy. And look, this light even works. Oh my God. <laughs> but you see how soon as I have something and I'm interested in it, and especially Mike, as soon as I take it like this, it now seems, it's now, it's now, it's now retained value. She's putting her chin down on purpose, so let me see if I can get her to do it. She's very similar to that dog Kai. It would do the same thing. If you said other breeds do it too, I don't know, they seem to do it. If you said they don't mind playing Sentinel. They don't mind playing Sentinel. They're bred to do that. So they have no problem laying there just like that. If you said it's trying to get closer to me, no, something. Oh, there's Mike. Oh. I do actually drop stuff all the time. So if you said, okay, now what? Now it's falling asleep. How do you crank the dynamic? All you can do is add a movement. I mean, that's, that's what people need to understand. Almost every problem. By speeding things up, you just see that Samantha running. It looks like it's sped up. It's, it's not. That's how fast it goes. You know, if none of your train, you know, you've got to have the down tempo training, which is the default down. If not, what is the dog doing? If the dog is choosing in the down tempo to just go away from the handler, that ought to tell you something. And. It's, it's going to be in free agency. If you said, well, I train it 20 minutes a day. Okay, well, you know, then the other 23 hours and 40 minutes a day, it's in free agency. So you're better off to just blend this stuff in with the free agents. It's like me. I don't think anyone's making me do this. Nobody's making me go on Facebook. Nobody's making me buy all these things. If you said Amazon, yes, Amazon is making me buy all of them. And Facebook is making me buy all this stuff by presenting it as an option. <laughs> I'll buy anything off Facebook. Oh my God, I gotta show you this statue I got made, Isabel. Hang on. I'm getting another one. And I had one made for my mom and it got lost in the mail. Never came. If you said Facebook made you buy this. Yes, people in China. You can go, you need to get one, Isabel. You need to get one of your dog, girl. All you gotta do is like hundred something bucks. Yeah, even even in the picture, I'll show you the actual picture. The little top was too tight in the picture. And it was stretched out too tight, just like here. It's unbelievable. It looks exactly like her. And if you said from that was from a photograph, yes, yeah, from one side picture like this. And they figured all of that out, the face, all of it. No one made me buy it and it's my prized possession. If you said how much, I don't know, it's like a hundred and some bucks. No, maybe it wasn't even a hundred bucks. 
And if you said, what about this? So no, the glass dome was only four ninety five. dollars Who's not going to get the glass dome for their treasured thimble statue? Nobody. So, Mr. Bell was watching me the whole time. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It doesn't have anything else to do. <laughs> so you have to say to yourself, there's nothing else to do. If you're not likable and fun to be around, they'll find something else to do. All right, I can work on my bending a little bit more. Just adding the page of that's that if you said well get over yourself it's the exact same turn as on the recall it is it is if you said well look gives me this recall if you said well do it without the pager it doesn't matter it doesn't matter your job is to get it to do it with the pager it's it's not to do it, 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 it there's plenty of without it you're you're not gonna master it unless you're getting it doing it so that I can give it to somebody else and say just do this and they're gonna understand not say heal it's just not gonna work. Telling someone to say heal and jerk some leash. That's gonna mean I hate the word heal. <laughs> I would. Sure you don't just you gotta get in the habit of just giving it right there. Just giving it right there. Try to get once you get out here, once you're giving it right. This is called tip yourself drill when it juts in front of you. So anyway, that's where we're at. Alright, listen, guys, let me get some stuff together here and see if it's nice enough to get outside. Oh I know, I'm gonna do some clean and strength. Uh oh, uh oh, we got her trying to attack Lou, so I'm going to show you what happens. Oh, let me show you. Watch, watch. You said the Lou attacking plan ain't going too good. No, it's not. There's a, this dog has a very interesting trait, and Elliot has the same thing. It's clicking its teeth, Mike. It's clicking its teeth. If you said you stopped it from biting it. Oh, no, I did stop it from biting it. If you said you stopped it from wanting to bite it. No, I, I didn't stop it from wanting to bite it. But I did stop it from biting it. It's clicking its teeth together. Poor Lou, she's a precious angel. So I bumped it with Constant on 127 right there. If you say, but right when it was getting her, uh oh. If you said that's a far milder version, yes, that's me subtracting from the biting behavior. If you said it'd be full on attacking, possibly. If you said it's, I love you, Lou. You're, if you said that was an internal, yeah, yeah, that was internal, Mike. If you said what happened, the behavior turned on itself. So instead of going out, it went in. That was what that. 
if he said, what, what? That was constant on 127. So if he said, you stopped it for a target, if you want me to show you what it does, and I'm not going to do that to Lou, but... <laughs> It's always going to be, it's like that little dog I have, Lucy. Anything new is an interloper. I'm glad you saw that. That is 127. If you say how many, I hit it multiple, multiple, multiple times. I hit it every time. And I'm, yeah, see, turn my back, did it again. I hit it on the neck first. That was not working. I can make it stop doing it. I can't make it more subject. Not right away. If you said an eventuality, if you said it looked like it hit a doorknob right there. Yeah, it hit a doorknob right there. Because I'm doing it in proximity with that dog, there's no other conclusion it can come to. Lou's very concerned. He said, it's looking at Lou funny, not you. I'm looking at Lou funny, not me. He said, Crash has a shield too. Oh, for sure. Crash will get rid of it. I'm glad you saw that, though, Mike. And that's, you see, the second I turn my back. If you said, well, that's what it does at home. It does. He said, well, it's so sad. I'd be sad, too, if I got three nicks. If you said, what did I do? I had it on 90. I did three nicks. By the end nick, it was on 127. So it started at 90, nick, 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 and in the process, it ended up at 127. He said, when would it try to get it again? If, it try, if she tried to run away, she would chase after her. She's mostly biting her in the back. You see how much she looked? I hope you saw that one. When this one looked, that one looked away. She's going to lay down now. Her focus is this dog, not this dog. Here we go. Hang on. If you said, how did you know? There you go. If you said that shake off helped you. Oh, absolutely. 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 The shake off happened right when I hit the 127. If you said it's a battle of attrition. Mm -mm, no. No, it's it's not a battle of attrition. It's it's gonna it's, it's a war of attrition, Mike. It's a war, it's not a battle. It's not a battle. It's going to look for this dog's orientation, and it's going to look for its orientation being right like that. <laughs> so I chased it with 127. It's orient. Once this dog was going away, it was after it. If you said, "Well, I chased it, but it didn't. It stopped." Yes, because I just I just I just subtracted from the behavior of chasing. If you said you made it go, I can't make it go away. I can't make it go away. If you said what would happen, on an intellectual level, the dog would mature and decide it's not fucking worth it. It's not fucking worth it. Watch her, she just keeps looking at Lou. Well, you better be ready. She's thinking about it. Well, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> if you said that's who the dog, that's how hinky dogs act. Anyway, I'm really glad you got to see that, but. If you said, I don't believe you, go back and look where it inhaled. If you said that was an, a great, great deal of indirect pressure. That was a great deal of indirect pressure. If you said that's more pressure than you've put on all these other dogs in the last six months. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I told that guy about that big border collie. I said, I put more pressure on this dog. 
than we have in every other dog for the last 10 years. <laughs> so I haven't done more than with the Border Collie with this one. But if I was the source, if I was the causation of the correction, it's not going to want to be by me. It doesn't want to be by her now. And if that's the only way to stop it, is to change its proximity so it's not going to bite it. And if you said it's always going to bite them when they run off, well, that's what they do. Anyway, look, I've reformed them, Mike, in 15 minutes. Oh, no, here you go, Mike. Dog aggression cured in 15 minutes. If you said it was only 13. Well, there you go. <laughs> Be right back.